Watford, a cathedral city that sits on the banks of the River Wye. Why? I don't know. I'm going to be honest here. I thought Hereford was in Wales. As it turns out, it's 16 miles from the border, back in England. And it makes for a local accent that's kind of hard to place. Hereford is supposedly best known for its breed of cattle. Yes, as in cows, moo, and all that. Do cows like street music? Numerous studies evidence that cows do like music, particularly classical, reggae, and lullaby. They find it relaxing. Notable musicians from Hereford include the original lineup of The Pretenders, the British DJ Jack Wobb, singer Freddie Stevenson, and none other than pop star Ellie Goulding. Now, if there's one thing I've learned through busking in the many, many places I've visited all across the UK, it's that a cathedral city is typically a good place to bus. But as always, my friends, there is only one way to find these things out. Here is how I got on busking in Hereford. Wait, what's that all about? What's going on? How does that even work? We're inside. Okay. Let me tell you what's going on. I'm currently in a shopping centre in a city called Hereford. I've never been to Hereford before. This is my first time. It is raining. And I'm not, I'm not just talking about a smattering. It is like downpour raining. There's a potential that it subsides in about two hours. Until then, I really don't know what to do with myself. And this shopping centre is a little grim, to say the least. It's very closed. There's not a whole lot going on here. <sighs> Welcome to the realities of being a busking adventurer. The guidelines for busking in Hereford. C can you stop? Yeah? Yeah, good. Thank you. Hereford City Council has a nice set of guidelines that mentions nothing of cows. Perhaps those guidelines are written by the Hereford Cow Council. Street music. Right? Although I can't seem to find anything on the Hereford Cow Council website. The human Hereford City Council, however, states We welcome busking as it adds to the wealth and vibrancy of the retail areas. You do not currently need a license to busk, but we strongly encourage you to participate in our code of conduct. So here is that code of conduct on street music. Number one, cowbell must only be played in emergencies. Oh no, wait, this is the wrong one. No, but seriously now. Number one, noise should not be so loud that it can be heard over 50 meters away. Number two, drumming should be a minor part of the act. Sucks to be a drummer in Hereford. Number three, recommended time in a location is one hour. Then taking a 30 minute break and moving at least 50 meters away. Not returning to your original location for at least three hours. Number four, this just says do not compromise public safety no blocking the public highway, etc. Number five, do not make use of street furniture. I will always love that it's called street furniture. Number six, no sign of inviting payment may be displayed. Number seven, no setting up near any other buskers or any other kind of street events. Number eight, stop if asked to do so by the police or a council representative. And I like this last one. Number nine, show a positive intention to entertain passers-by. Well said. Hereford City Council. Do not solicit money through sympathy. That last point might be one worth holding on to when it comes to my day in Hereford, which, if you haven't already gathered, is a little bit different to my usual busking in adventure. So let's get on with my very wet day in Hereford, and I will also take you through some of my recommended pitches. Okay, here's the current scenario. The weather app keeps changing. The rain forecast keeps getting later and later. First of all, it said it was gonna stop about midday. Then it said one, now it says two. I have found this bit of shelter. It's small, right? You don't get a whole lot of dry patch. The foot traffic is minimal. There is an M&S further up but a lady with a whistle has commandeered that spot. My plan originally was to go there when I was waiting in the shopping center. That doesn't look like that can happen now. So I think I might just try here. Why not? 
I'm gonna back all my stuff on to the wall so none of it gets wet and hopefully people understand what it is I'm trying to do. The return ticket here from Cardiff was £32.70. I will be happy if I come home today breaking even on that £32.70. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's gonna be a rainy day busk. This video was supposed to be a busking in Hereford. Maybe, just maybe, I can edit it together so it does work out. But uh, it looks like it's gonna be a busking in Hereford in the rain video. I'm not gonna lie to you, I feel a bit like a crazy person right now. I've done a few rainy day busks in my time, but never this extreme. It's usually just like a tiny bit of rain or a bit of mist, sea mist or something. This is rain rain. All my equipment from earlier is absolutely drenched too. <sighs> Luckily I have the bag case. I super recommend getting one of these by the way. I usually cover my amp with it too if it's raining. Another purchase I recommend is some microfiber towels. Like dead small you can fit them in your bag. It means you can wipe everything down. The amount of times this has saved my gear. I also like to drape it over like my amp or something if that is getting caught, caught by the rain. That is the tiniest amount of space to be able to stand. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, the things I do for this, for this life, man. <laughs> Wouldn't have it any other way. Spot number one. So my original plan was to busk in the city of Newport on the south coast of Wales on this particular Thursday in February. However, the weather forecast had predicted rain all day in Newport City. Upon a check prior the evening before, I noticed that Hereford only had rain forecasted for the early morning, but clear skies for the rest of the day. When I arrived in Hereford, however, the weather forecast had changed. The forecast for clearer skies kept getting pushed back, later and later, hour by hour. But here's the thing, I'm a freaking busker. Man, I'm addicted to the feeling of playing music to unsuspecting folk who walk past in the street. I freaking love it. I love it too much to let any rain get me down. And if there is one thing that us buskers are good at, it's being persistent and being resilient. Particularly when faced with anything that might come between us and the music. Man. I spent my first few hours in Hereford in a rather depressing looking shopping centre. I wandered about and sat around in here for a good few hours, just hoping for the rain to stop. Some kind of respite, please. In a moment of what felt like a little ease in the wet weather, I took a chance and went out for a little excursion to see if there was any potential sheltered spots. I was holding on to some kind of hope. I found the smallest of promises in a tiny dry patch caused by the shelter outside McDonald's on Commercial Street. It was here I stood, perhaps for 20, 30 minutes, debating. Internally, I needed to make a decision. In the words of the clash, should I stay or should I go? It took an awful lot of willpower, let me tell you. But I dug deep into that reservoir of resilience and persistence. And I decided just to go for it. Why not? I was all the way there. What's the worst that can happen? Filled with a concoction of adrenaline, excitement and nerves, I felt super relieved that I hadn't caved in. That I hadn't got back on that train to Cardiff. I was doing it. Busking in the rain. For real this time. Not some pathetic shower. Real downpour, man. Oh, Lord, 
And funnily enough, there were plenty of folk that were willing to get wet. Folk with umbrellas and hoods up, doing their shopping and going about their day. Not seeming surprised by the presence of a street musician, hunkered down under his shelter, trying to play some music. There is something huge to be said for taking action, even if you're in the strongest mindset of doubt. I really didn't think I was going to be setting up today. I like had my train time for going back to Cardiff all set up on my phone. I wandered up and down for like maybe an hour and a half, like ages. I sat in that shopping centre for maybe an hour. Dang man, I've made a bit. I'm like three, four songs in, but I feel like already like relieved that I'm actually doing this. I can't encourage you enough. Find a little dry spot, get out, just go, do the thing. Even if it's not busking, do the thing. Every now and then I check the weather app just to see if there was a chance of respite from this wet weather. But as the time ticked by, that forecast just showed showers upon showers getting later and later and later into the day. Yep, it's still raining. We've been playing for like an hour. Like all things considered, I'd say it's going pretty well. Like even if this was a non-rainy day bus, I'd be pretty stoked right now. It's been like donations coming in, some smiling. In, in fact, I'd say the smiles are probably a bit more because of the wet weather. Or maybe it's just because I'm aware of them. I think that this place is clearly somewhere that buskers frequent. The public know what to do with a busker, which is really cool. Like, it's a shame that it is such a wet day, but I like that it confronted me with a challenge and I had to choose whether I accepted the challenge or not. Dang, am I glad I did. More than anything for the way I feel. I would have felt like a defeat if I'd have gone back. Whereas I feel like I just went, no, I'm taking the challenge. Crazy man, what a crazy time to be alive. As I said many times on the day, I imagine Hereford to be a rad place to busk. If it's dry weather, maybe a bit of sun shining. So here are some spots that I thought looked good for busking, preferably in dry weather. The main spot appears to be outside the M&S, very usual for any kind of town or city in the UK. Located on the High Town Market Square area. This actually did have a little bit of shelter from the rain, but weirdly enough there was a whistle player playing on the rainy day that I was in Eric. Can you believe it? Even on a really wet rainy day, there's still other buskers about. The secondary uh, main spot, I guess, is outside All Saints Church. Maybe along the High Street, maybe along the All Saints Passage. There's actually a busker here on Google Street View, which is, I think, the number one sign of a good spot. Don't you? On the other side of the city, on St. Peter's Street, there's a nice little area you could set up outside Gordon Bennett's, which is what my mum calls me. True story. I have no idea why. Mum, why? Why am I Gordon Bennett? Who is Gordon Bennett? Why is there a shop or a restaurant named Gordon Bennett's in Hereford? The Trinity Square looks very buskable. I'm not sure if this is private land. I can't find anything that says that it is. And this is conveniently outside that shopping centre that I spent the first few hours of my day in Hereford. Can't say that I've got fond memories. And finally, you could set up where I was outside the McDonald's area. This wouldn't be my first choice if it was a nice dry day, but it did the job. And it works if it's raining. Thinking about it, it's like one of the greatest things about doing these busking adventures where I'm like staying somewhere, I've paid for accommodation, I've paid the, a train fare to get to like, you know, 
far away from Brighton where I live. It means I'm put in these situations where like I kind of have to make a decision to bus. Like I didn't want to not bus today because I love busking, but also because like it matters. If I was back in Brighton and it was a day like this, I'd just have the day off. But because it's like, no, I've come here to, to busk, I've come here to make a video, I've come here to see somewhere new. Like I had to, I had to take it. I'm very grateful for that. It's very cool. It's a cool position to be in and I'm, like, I've, like I've said a million times, I'm just stoked I went for it. What I'm not stoked on is this here. That looks like it could fall through at any moment. And it wouldn't hit me, but it might hit my case. You know the song? I don't know if I Every, know the song. Everybody, bird, 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 a bird, a bird, bird. Everybody knows the word, word, word. Yeah, what? Everybody knows the bird, bird is the, the word. bird. That one. Everybody the knows the bird is the word. <laughs> yeah. That's a good song. Yeah. It's so simple, I made it. Ah, it's cool, isn't it? On the way, go. I met several friendly characters whilst I was here in Hereford. It's always nice to meet the locals, even if it is raining. And all of them seemed kind of chuffed that I was there, that I'd bothered to set up. The greatest thing in life that's been, has been thought, is what? Has been a thought. People have had a thought. Yeah, yeah, okay. They've created a It's been a life. thought, it's come from a thought. Yeah, it came from a thought. Yeah, yeah, came from, from the, the thought. thought. I always think about this on uh, radio waves. Mm. Somebody thought, oh, I could send someone through the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. It, and then they found them and he could. Whoa. All right, it's well and truly chopping it down now. I guess I made a good decision. I've just finished the set once through. My thought was like, maybe I'll finish here and I'll go and see if the M&S spot is free. So there's a bit of shelter under M&S. I think that this downpour has confirmed that I should just stay here. There's one spot wonder this place. As time went on, my adrenaline fueled excitement and nerves slowly started to turn into a kind of strong desire to just get it over with, if I'm honest. This is a rare occurrence for me when it comes to busking and playing music. But there's something deep within the human body, I think, that after a while gets a bit fed up with the wet, especially four or so hours. It's definitely more difficult to keep up motivation when the elements are not in your favor. It's like kind of pointless playing whilst it's really chucking it down like this because no one's got time for donations, which I don't blame them for. If you just one inch un from under this thing, you get drenched. My bottle and the GoPro just got drenched. After my usual twice round my main set, something that I typically do on any bus. I felt relieved to be calling it a day. I won't lie. But I also felt very accomplished that I'd done it, that I'd stuck out the rain. There was so much of me that wanted to get on that train back, but I knew that the crushing disappointment, the getting back to the accommodation in Cardiff and feeling like the day had been wasted, I, I didn't want to face that. I knew that if I just took a chance, at least I could say I'd tried. And dang man, it paid off by all accounts. I know that I can survive the rain if I really want to. Character building. It is, of course, the challenges we face that really make us who we are. And should I face rain like that in the future? I won't be so scared to set up. No, I'm gonna just quickly pop round like do it right now. I'll have a little take more time. Go and do it. Mate. Oh, it's man. a brilliant building we've got here. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Awesome man. Thank, Thank you so much. Have a good day.
Okay, welcome to August Radio Project's quick GoPro tour of Hereford. Um, behind me there is where I just played along this street. Obviously a good spot if it's raining, but not if it's dry. If it was dry, then I wouldn't recommend going there. You're a bit far from all the action. There's Greg's. Always a busy spot on High Street. If in doubt, set up outside Greg. It is still raining. It didn't stop raining that entire time, which is bonkers, isn't it? What's really cool though is I managed to busk. I genuinely thought I was going to be defeated. I thought I was going to end up back in the room I'm staying in in Cardiff, feeling sorry for myself. And I'm not going to lie to you, the room is the cheapest I could find. It isn't it? exactly glamorous. Look at this thing. So this is the main kind of square. Uh, this is where I'd recommend setting up. Maybe even here, outside the bull. That looks like an epic spot to play. I imagine this is a really lovely place on a bright sunny day, because it's kind of lovely on a day where it's raining and it's been raining all day. Here we go, the market hall. I toyed with the idea of just going in there and being like, can I play in here? Um, but then I wimped out. This is WH Smith. I should imagine that's a fine place to bust just outside there. And then this is M&S up here, which I'm told is the prime spot of the area. This is actually where the whistle player was earlier. As you can see, there is some shelter there, but it's sort of inwards. So you kind of get lost. People might be able to hear the music, but they won't necessarily know where it's coming from. And that, I think, affects donation. So I think in general, I was actually in a better spot. This is such a funny little tour. I hope you're enjoying it. All Saints Church and Cafe. Look at that. Beautiful, traditional. Usually cathedral cities, the small ones, pretty good for busking. Winchester and Chichester come to mind. Canterbury also. Shame that's not my accommodation, but maybe one day. I really enjoyed that set for what it was. If it had been a normal day, non-raining, I wouldn't have enjoyed myself so much. Whoa, dude. A big yellow building. Now I apologize this is on a GoPro because it probably won't do it very good justice, but here is the beautiful cathedral. I freaking love an old building, man. So much history, so many stories, energy stored in the walls. One spot wonder here in Hereford. It's a um, relatively small amount of buskable area, but I reckon you could get two or three buskers down on that city centre bit. No problem. Did I make my train fare back? Is that your question? Should be your question. I'll let you know at the train station. Well, I've got a mega delayed train now. The worst thing about a rainy day bus is it's not over until you literally get back. Because even whilst you're walking around, you're still getting wet. I guess that's the advantage to having a car or a vehicle of your own. That was crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. I would call it a success because I was honestly on my way back. I was just gonna return to Cardiff and I, I wasn't sure what I was gonna do, but I, I had a successful busk. I'll tell you in a minute why. I did end up back feeling sorry for myself. I interacted with some friendly locals. I saw a beautiful place, which I should imagine is even more beautiful when it's uh, not chucking it down. Best of all, I made my train fare back. Total for today was 50 pound. 10p. So I even made a little profit. And I've discovered that you can busk in the rain in Hereford. So if any of you are local to here, no excuses. It would probably be worth it if you didn't have to pay £32 for a train ticket as well. I am feeling pretty beat up though, so ready to call it a night. I'll hand you back to future me who will round off this video. Thank you for watching. Woo! Hereford! Wet, but kind of wonderful. Can you stop it? Please. I'm trying to film a video here. I say this with full confidence. If I can make a day in Hereford work when it's raining like that, then I should imagine a nice dry sunny day is absolutely rad. The locals clearly knew what to do with a busker, even in the pouring rain. I genuinely do think it's so important to lean into challenges, particularly when you're on a journey like this. Wherever you are on that journey, lean into those challenges. You learn what you're truly capable of in those moments. And yeah, busker one, Rain nil for now. If you are a busker who is local to Hereford or frequently visits, drop a comment below, let us know how it is, maybe on a sunny day, and also add anything I might have missed. If you like this video, then please give it a like. If you're new around here, then hit subscribe. Turn the notifications on, especially if you don't want to miss where I'll be next. 
I post on the community tab. A lot of you miss it. So if you really want to know, then notifications is where it's at. If you want to leave me an online donation, the super thanks button is right there somewhere. And if you have a little more spare cash laying around, and I have a Patreon where I post exclusive content. I want to give a huge shout out to anyone that has left me a super thanks and the patrons and the people that have bought my merch, which is available on my website. Link in the description. Thank you to all you guys because with the money that you uh, donated or have spent, I've managed to buy a lighting rig. I don't know if you've noticed, but this video might look a little more lit than usual. I don't know. Lit in both sense of the word. But yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you for watching too. I am August Radio Project. I make videos that come up every Monday. In the meantime, you can watch one that comes up on the screen or the many others on the channel, and I will see you next week. Peace, love, and happiness. All right, I get it. Stop it. Stop raining indoors. Now I'm